hey, this is Kareem Cleaver. Um, tonight, I'm going to be recording a tutorial for how to animate GIF animations or make GIF animations in uh, Game Maker and using uh, also using Microsoft GIF Animator. Game Maker will doing the majority of the job, while Microsoft GIF Animator GIF Animator will be for fine tuning. Well, I'm going to be animating this image. It is a little like flower effect that I was going to use for this, uh, for, for uh, like a fire emblem animation, but um, I ended up losing most of the sprites. Long story. Um, gonna be playing some music. This first song is High Grade Standard by Nomad. If any other songs play, they'll be above the uh, the little cone. Because I'm using VLC. Because I don't feel like translate. Uh, I don't feel like converting the FLVs I downloaded from YouTube to MP3s because I'm lazy. So, um, I'll just go over the simple stuff first. First, you need to install Game Maker. Uh, make sure it is less than 8.0, um, 7.0 or lower. 8.0 won't work. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's free or if it's the paid for Pro Edition. You don't have to to pay for it for this. Just download for free. Um, so you don't really need to worry about much else. Uh, all this other stuff you're gonna you're gonna focus on sprites. Go to resources and create sprite, or hit this little uh, red uh, icon that looks like Pac-Man. Pac-Man. Doesn't matter what it's named. Uh, doesn't really matter if it's transparent or not. Now you can load the sprite if you have a, a single frame on file or a frame you want to work from on file. Uh, it only work with one frames. It won't parse up or slice up different frames. That's another story. Uh, if you hit edit sprite, you can just this is where you can just take things from paint, copy them over. Let's see, this is 42 by 42. And paste them in. I should probably put the music over the file. Oh, well, too lazy. Um, you usually want to hit the, the use new size button. If you keep the original size, it'll keep whatever size you're working with. This little square is 32 by 32. Uh, my new size is 42 by 42. If I use maximal size, it'll take both. Like, let's say if this was 32 width, let's say, like, I had something that was 100 by 1, and I wanted to place something that was 1 by 100, the new dimensions would be 100 by 100, if you get that. Placement, place top left, it's in the left top pixel. Place in center, it'll center it for you. And stretch, that's uh, it'll stretch it out to. If it's smaller, it'll compress it. If it's bigger, it'll stretch it out to the new dimensions. It won't be uh, it won't keep its ratio, so keep that in mind. You usually want to just do place in center. And I'll be using use new size. Maximal size will work too. I want to get this blank frame out. Mm -mm make a little copy actually you'll see why in a sec it's because um when i copy in new frames what game maker does if i oh i didn't even go over this uh this is cut really what you need to do is cut copy and paste um if if you have a frame highlighted and you hit paste it'll paste uh, to the left of the highlighted frame. It won't paste over it, so don't worry about that. Uh, cutting it will cutting will cut it out, and copying it will copy it. Uh, ooh, Nomad, Chasing Rainbows. I like this one. And again, I guess I like all the songs on this uh, little thing that I made. Oh, and uh, the whole left thing, that's why I made the copy. 
so I can just put it to the left, otherwise everything would have ended up being in reverse or out of order. I'm probably ruining the little of the music you can hear. But seriously, this is beautiful music. Um, Nomak, Blazo, or Blazo, don't know how to pronounce it, this Polish dude. And New Jabez, of course. And if Funky DL. Uh, which some of you, you may or may not know. They all have a very similar feel. Um, I'd say, I probably shouldn't even be getting on this, but whatever. Funky DL tends to be a little more hip-hop, a little more jazz. Getting off topic. Um, a couple little things, little nice things is that if you hit animation, you can do a lot of nice little neat things. You can rotate it, uh, but I'm not going to be talking about those. What I want to say is reverse. That'll reverse the frames if you hit, oh, and control Z undoes it. If you hit add reverse, it'll, um, it'll replay it in reverse order. So, just to show you the difference, you can hit the show preview button, and it'll show you a preview of what, uh, what your animation is going to look like. Then you can adjust the speed to anything you want it. Usually uh, somewhere between 10 and 15 is best. I'm shooting for 12. So, as you see, nice animation, but it kind of cut short. So I'm going to do hit that add reverse button. And now it's going to grow, then shrink, then grow, then shrink. Um, that's a nice way to tie up an animation without having to paste, it, paste in new frames. So, that's pretty much all for the animation part. Uh, once you get everything organized the way you wanted, and the preview looks pretty good, now you want to either go to File, hit Save as GIF, or hit this uh, little thing that looks like a floppy disk. Save it, whatever. Naming it Flower Animation. Alright, now that's where this program comes in. Now you want to hit the thing that looks like the open folder. Ah, go to wherever you saved your file. Save mine and my pictures. Hit your new GIF. And now you see you have all your frames in order. Um, where is it? Ah, if you hit this thing that looks like three boxes, it'll select all your frames. You don't really want to mess with anything, uh, anything on this front, on this front tab. Animation, you can hit looping and repeat forever. That's really the only thing you need to mess with on this one. And then, uh, this one is duration. Duration is what speed did. Uh, you can change all the speed at once. Let's say, let's make it four. Why not? Now, for the undraw method. Normally, you just want to do restore background, and what that'll do if it's a uh, if it's transparent, it won't show the thing behind it. Um, I don't know what undefined will do. It's random, and I don't remember what leave and uh, leave and restore previous will do. Basically, one of those will uh, end up making it making the transparent part shine through the t shine through to the last frame and you probably don't want that now if you hit the transparency button um, if you have it all selected it'll automatically select black so you want to make sure that uh, whatever you want transparent is black that's usually the best way to go through it um, but here I have gray so since this program is a really old program, like it hasn't been messed with in like since the early 2000s or so, um, if I want to change the transparency color from black, I have to deselect everything or just make sure that one frame is selected, hit transparency, and choose from this big thing of palettes. And 
I honestly don't know which one is mine, so I'm not even going to touch it. So, but what you want to do is just make sure that the transparent part, the little, this little part, the gray part, your background, make sure that's black if you want it transparent. It's just the easiest thing to do, uh, since you don't have to pick colors from a big old palette. So, um, now then, what you want to do is just make sure your duration's okay, make sure everything's transparent, then hit this little floppy disk and save it again. That'll just save it, I think. This will, the, the three floppy disk will do save as, but I just like to use save it because, you know, we're already working off this. You can go ahead and close this if you want. Now, to actually see what you did and how everybody else will look at it, what it'll look like in, a, in when you post it on the internet, or pretty much anywhere, uh, just open it in a browser, like Firefox or Opera, and you can see how fast it'll run in a browser. Um, you can also see if it's transparent or not this way. Um, make, it, make any tweaks you want from here on. Uh, change any individual frames, uh, like individual frames, uh, duration value. Four is a little fast, like less than five is a little fast. Seven is, you can kind of notice it sometimes depending on, depending on how uh, well animated your stuff is. And anything past that is kind of long. Um, yeah, that, that's it. For placement issues, I might make another video, or I might not, because I am kind of lazy. But yeah, that's it for this tutorial, and I'll be seeing you guys, ooh, just in time for the end of this song, with a beautiful little sunset. Good night.